Hey again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So today is March 2nd and I have been doing a ton of seed starting the last couple days. I'll have a video coming up very soon showing you all of the varieties that I start at the beginning of March. But I wanted to do one specific video for you guys today to explain how I'm starting a couple of um, kind of hard to start seed varieties. So the varieties that I'm starting today are Bupleurum and Bells of Ireland. Now I have a um, 72 cell tray already filled with a pre-moistened seed starting mix. This is for my Bupleurum. My Bells of Ireland I'm gonna be starting a different way. But both of these have been in this bag in my freezer for two weeks. Um, both of these require what is called cold stratification. So that means the seeds have to go through a cold period before they will germinate. So these have been in a baggie just to keep them dry for two weeks. I just took them out about an hour ago. So they are ready to get started. So the first one I wanna share with you is my Bupleurum. And I, again, I'm gonna be using the 72 cell tray to start this. The, then I will go ahead and show you how I'm gonna start my Bells of Ireland, which I'm going to do completely different. So last year, it took me a couple tries to get the hang of starting Bupleurum from seed. And once I figured it out, it grew super well. I had multiple successions of Bupleurum. Um, the first ones that went in the ground were ones that I started inside in a seed tray. The second ones I actually direct sowed and I got a whole um, second harvest. And I want to have at least three harvests of Bupleurum this year. So this is gonna be the first round that I start. So one of the requirements um, that I have found out anyway for starting Bupleurum is it needs to be dark to germinate and it needs to be cool. So I do not place this under my grow lights. I do not place this on my heat mat. Last year, I sowed my seeds in the seed tray. I took them into my furnace room that has a concrete floor. I set the tray down on the concrete floor to keep it cooler. That room stays about um, 60, 65 degrees. So down on the cooler concrete floor, it's probably closer to 55 or 60 degrees. And then I covered the tray with cardboard. I just set a piece of cardboard on top of the tray. I will show this to you guys when I actually put it in there. And then I just waited for them to sprout. And then once I did see germination throughout most of the tray, that's when I moved them under my grow lights. So, that is the way that I am starting them again this year. So I'm gonna first start out by kind of evening out my um, cells. I'm kind of just gonna put my finger down right in the middle to get a little landing area for the seed. The seed starting mix that I'm using today is a pro mix. Um, it's a new one that I got that I have not used before. So far, I'm really loving the texture of it, so it'll be fun to see how all of the seeds that I've been starting the last couple days germinate in this. But now that I have these little impressions made in my cell tray, oh, I'm definitely gonna have enough seeds for this. I'm gonna put two seeds per cell, and I'm gonna just drop them right in the depression I'm gonna go ahead and get this whole tray done and then we're gonna go ahead and cover it with just a little bit of soil. Okay, so my tray's full. I have two to three seeds in each cell and honestly, I think that's gonna be okay. Last year, I ended up kind of double planting some of my spots out in the garden and two plants actually came up um, within the same hole in my landscaping. I don't think they minded it a bit. So if I have a couple of plants come up in the same cell, I may just keep them together. Um, that was my experience anyway. So now I just have a styrofoam cup with a little bit of my um, seed starting mix in it, and it is dry. And I'm just gonna lightly sprinkle a little bit of the seed starting mix on top of these seeds. I don't wanna cover it very much but I just wanna cover it a little bit because again, it says that they need total darkness to germinate. So this is just gonna help a little bit. I am, again, gonna be covering it with cardboard, but I do wanna cover them a little bit. It's kind of the rule um, when you're starting seeds from what I have read that you cover the seed. Um, I think it's half as, with half as much soil as the length of the actual seed is if that makes sense. Um, and these are a little bit oblong, you know, not, they're not very big. So maybe I'm doing like an eighth of an inch 
I'm just barely putting any soil on top of them. Okay, that is all done. Now I'm gonna take my mister and I'm gonna mist everything in. Okay, I also suppose I should mark this tray. I'm using just a little plant tag and a garden marker that will not fade. I'm gonna put the name and today's date on here just so I know. Okay, so this tray's ready to go. Let's go ahead and take it in and put it down where this is gonna live until it germinates. All right, so this is the room that it is going to live in till it germinates. I have a seed starting set up in here. Um, these are some trays of ranunculus that are actually getting moved because they're sprouting. But this is the cool cement floor that they were on last year. Basically, I'm probably gonna shove them in under the sink over here. And then I'm just gonna take just a piece of cardboard and cover it right over top of the tray like that so it blocks the light. And then every so often I'll come in here and check to see how it's germinating. Once I see a lot of germination, it will get moved right up to this grow shelf under my grow lights. So that's basically how I started my Buplurum last year. I'm sure there are other ways that people do it. That is how it worked for me last year. So that's how I'm gonna attempt to do it again this year. Um, now I'm gonna start these Bells of Ireland. These are from, from Florette. Bells of Ireland is something I have never grown before, but I absolutely love the look of them. And I just have to try it this year. So I ordered just one pack from Florette Honestly, I went on a few websites and they were all sold out. So um, it must be kind of a hard one to come by, I'm sure, if you don't plan ahead. But I was able to get some from, from Florette. So I'm probably gonna just end up using this whole packet. And the way that I'm gonna start these is I'm gonna germinate them in the wet paper towel method. So basically, from what I have read, um, you just take a paper towel and I will be um, placing the seeds on the paper towel, missing it down, and then folding it in half, putting it in a plastic bag, and putting it in the fridge. Um, yeah, and then as they germinate, as the little plants start growing out of the seeds, I'm gonna be taking them out and putting them into a cell tray with soil. So, um, yeah, let's try it. Okay, so I have all of my seeds in the moist paper towel. Um, I think I keep the bag open. That's what I'm gonna start by doing. I'm gonna keep the bag open just for a little air ventilation and I'm just gonna put this on the shelf inside of my refrigerator and every couple days I will check to see if there's any action and cross your fingers that I get a lot of Bells of Ireland this year because this would be such a fun one to grow. So anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. I definitely will make sure to keep you guys updated on the Buplurum and the Bells of Ireland um, to see if either of these methods work this year for me, but I always post updates on my Instagram account as well, so make sure to follow me on Instagram. And I will also have another video coming up really soon about all of my March seed starting. Um, the weather hopefully will turn nice. I'll be able to get that hoop house up. I can plant my ranunculus out. It's going to be a busy spring, but I'm getting really excited. So stay tuned for a lot more. We'll see you soon.